a great all-time classic and quite an affordable smoke with an excellent price value ratio. Today we're smoking Arturo Fuente Spanish Lonsdale Maduro. Hello and welcome everybody to another review here at Bespoke Unit. This time highlighting and lighting up the Arturo Fuente Grand Reserva Spanish Lonsdale Maduro. As always, I'm using Bespoke Unit Cigar Formula for this review, which is a quantifiable review matrix that you can also use for your own tasting purposes. If you're curious and you just want to skip the entire video, you can jump right underneath and check out the final score for this cigar, as well as the entire write-up and a blank copy of the cigar formula that you can use for your own tastings. So the Arturo Fuente Spanish Lonsdale Maduro, as I said, is part of the Gran Reserva line. It is an interesting, super elegant Lonsdale Vitola featuring a 6.5 by 42 ring gauge. It's obviously made at Tabacalera Arturo Fuente in the Dominican Republic, featuring a USA Connecticut broadleaf wrapper over binder and filler from the Dominican Republic. The dark chocolatey US Connecticut broadleaf wrapper has a few slight bumps and bruises, minimal veins and sort of a toothy, grainy texture to it. It looks a bit rustic, but nevertheless very inviting with lots of oil, lots of sheen, even though the coloring is um, uneven ever so slightly. Uh, but overall, I mean, the cigar looks promising, invigorating, and it almost screams light me up, which is what we're going to be doing right away. So I'm using my trusted Smoking Moses razor cut to give this Spanish Lonsdale a very slight cap removal. The cold draw gives me just the right amount of resistance with a very interesting mix of chocolate, roasted hay, and a little bit of a fruity note underneath. In my humble opinion, it sort of reminds me of quince and uh, um, an unripe but juicy, slightly acidic pear. The aroma off of the wrapper and the foot has certain notes of sour cherry, some wet leather, and a little bit of a, a bruised and almost burnt mint. Sweet, chocolatey notes, a little fruitiness going on, and an ever so slight green herbaceous quality underneath. We'll light it up right away. As you would expect, with a dark Maduro wrapper, in particular USA Connecticut Broadleaf, the cigar starts chocolatey, a little bit of sweetness in combination with a lovely bitter note, just sort of counterbalancing that initial sweet impact. I get some toffee and cardamom with a little bit of sweet leather that I already detected on the cold draw. And then there is a jasmine floral scent to enlighten and brighten up the entire aromatic profile. Furthermore, on the retrohale particularly, I get an ever so gentle accord of pink pepper in combination with the chocolatey sweetness. Whilst the aromatic and flavor profile is rich and dense, the mouthfeel is compact and full. The strength is just between the mild and medium mark but already at the beginning the complexity is there and the body is quite creamy with just enough spice to balance it all off moving on to the second third what i initially thought of to be a wet leather component now has some earthiness to it again rather sweet with a little bit of chocolate and caramel to it the chocolate then suddenly fades into a bitter chocolate component with some roasted star anise on top so again the spice the fruity acidity and also these floral undertones help to elevate the profile from the otherwise sweet earthy nuances 
and bring a little bit of excitement in order to give the cigar complexity, freshness and liveliness. So with every puff, the cigar on the one hand becomes slightly darker, richer and earthier. Overall, it is always encompassed in a lovely, elegant, charming, ever so slightly spicy profile. In the final third, then this all comes together in a lovely note of roasted cumin. I also detect few hints of Pedro Jimenez sherry and Oloroso sherry. So that combination of dried fruits, nuttiness, a slight sweetness underneath, but a lot of rancio depth and richness from prolonged years of aging and maturation. The sweetness finally makes itself heard in form of a sweet date and date syrup, ending again in a sweet note of earth, bitter chocolate and sour cherry. Overall, the technical performance of the cigar is excellent. You can see right here, I'm just getting started with this one. The burn is perfect, perfectly even. It's a firm, stable ash, even though this is a, a small ring gauge, it's a slender and tall Vitola. So once you tip it, the, the ash will fall off quite easily. It has a rather white to off-white, grayish color, and it's rather dense overall. I've smoked boxes of these Spanish Lansdale Maduros. These are in my daily rotation because it's a very affordable cigar. It gives you excellent value for the money and they come in boxes of 25. Speaking of, I think these boxes are super elegant, look neat and tidy with a little bit of gold, white, black. Here there's a cedar inlay as well as a personal note from Carlito Fuente himself. So overall, beautiful presentation. The cigar ring is simple and minimalistic. It's the typical Arturo Fuente Grand Reserva design with red and green sort of as the color coding to it. For me, as I said, it's an everyday cigar. You could have this in the morning with your espresso. You could have it in the lunch break because it's probably a bit more than an hour's worth of smoking time right there or even as an after dinner cigar when you're looking for something slender, elegant, very refined, the Spanish Lansdale Maduro is always a perfect pick. The finish of the cigar is gorgeous. It's long, it's uh, complex, it's rich and dense with just the right balance of sweetness, sourness, a slight acidity that is also intermingled with uh, the fruity quality of sour cherry, a slight bitterness of cocoa, chocolate, and earth, as well as sort of a mellow overall mouth coating sensation that somehow speaks umami. Thus, when it comes to pairing recommendations, I love to smoke the cigar with a little bit of beef broth or uh, even a miso soup on the side. Salted pretzels or a slightly savory crunchy snack is also excellent with this cigar, as well as after eight a typical chocolate treat with a little bit of mint filling. So what I detected at the beginning, the green herbaceousness and combo with the chocolate is just beautifully resembled in that pairing sweet. The absolute highlight for me though, I have to say, is uh, smoking the cigar with a glass of superbly ripe Oloroso sherry. I went for Bodegas Tradicion VORS, which is an Oloroso sherry that on average is aged for more than 30 years and just a most delicious expression of Andalusian fortified wines. And I mentioned espresso before, that obviously sits beautifully next to the cigar as well, especially when you're smoking it during the day. Again, overall, this is a most enjoyable cigar. It's very affordable, it delivers on all different levels, great value for money with the rich aromatic profile, elegant creamy mouthfeel and a lot of different nuances and components to be detected layer upon layer. Grab one of these, grab a box of these and please join us again for another video review here at Bespoke Unit. You can also check out all our other lifestyle cigar spirits content on the website or on our YouTube channel and I will see you here for another cigar review. Until then, until next time, light them up and enjoy fabulous cigars. Goodbye.